What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and today we have an Edison format deck profile and it is the Sacred Beast Uriah. Alright guys, so we have quite the, uh, I'd say it's a little more casual as, uh, as far as Edison goes. I wouldn't really call it, well I guess maybe it could be Rogue. <laughs> it really depends on what you're drawing and how good you are. But uh, we'll dive on in. You guys can see a nice look at this Edison format Uriah deck. So starting off, we got the staple of Edison format, uh, Gale the Whirlwind. So we're not really playing Black Wings in here. It's pretty much our only one. But it is a tuner, so it's nice. So we got a little access to the extra deck. But uh, yeah, his second effect of uh, once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and uh, stack and defense become half. It's pretty good for hitting a, uh, a little more damage with Uriah. So <laughs> we have him in here just to be a little bit more of the, uh, the staple, lower your opponent's monster's attack. In case they have one of those high beaters, you can't necessarily normally get over it. Now another one that's a little more casual is the uh, Desilicuda. So uh, when you flip him into, uh, yeah, face up, right? Yep, this card's uh, flip summon. You can draw one card, but it has to be flip summon. So you can't be attacked and then flipped. It's kind of the only downside. But we do run the uh, gravity bind in here, so it does kind of help slow it down and kind of manipulate the deck a little bit quicker that way. But we do have Desilicuda in here. Next we have our uh, Gravekeeper's Descendant, and with him, I uh, trip you a face-up Gravekeeper monster and uh, destroy one card your opponent controls. So help clear out the field a little bit more, especially since we are playing three copies of the Gravekeeper's Spy in here. Not only that, let's just flip some and kind of help uh, wall up a little bit more as you're trying to get to your eye. Moving on, we have our Morphine Jar. Help get through the deck a little bit quicker. Since we don't really have a crazy draw engine in here, we do have some things that will help us draw a little bit quicker, but it's nothing too, too crazy, unfortunately. Uh, Sandgan as well, help us search a little bit quicker. And then, of course, we have our three. Big Baddie himself, Uriah, that can get pulled from the deck thanks to Sangan since he starts off with uh, zero attack, so nice little thing there. But uh, yeah, we do have Uriah, Lord of the Searing Flames, our big boss monster of the deck. So he's going to gain a thousand attack for each continuous trap in our graveyard. So since he needs to be summoned by sending three to the graveyard, he's at least starting off with uh, 3k attack, which is pretty nice. So that combined, if you do get Gale out, can uh, definitely impact a little damage to your opponent's life points. So we're running three of the big baddie himself. On top of that, to boost him up, starting off the spell cards, we have Mage Power. Since we are running so many continuous traps and a few other spells to help out along the way as well too, why not boost him up a little bit more? Next we have three copies of Magic Planner. So this you can send one face off uh, continuous trap to the graveyard and draw two cards. So since we are running so many continuous, it can kind of help us draw into your eye a little bit quicker. So that's kind of our, uh, our draw engine, I guess you could say. Nothing too crazy. But that, combined with uh, Gravekeeper Spy and Morphe Jar and whatnot to kind of help thin the deck, speed through a little bit quicker. Hopefully we get our big boss out and, yeah, inflict as much damage as we possibly can to our opponent. So next we have our trap cards. It's going to be pretty heavy, clearly, for Uriah. And, uh, yeah, a lot of them are going to be continuous. So we have three Fiendish Chain in here. Help slow down our opponent as well, too. We have Run, uh, <laughs> one Gravity Bind. Classic goodie. Helps stall out the opponent as well, too. Uh, make sure they're not moving too far ahead in 
their uh, in their turns, at least until we get out of your eye. Next, we're gonna have Imperial Custom. So with this card, uh, face up continuous traps cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect. So pretty solid if you uh, if you ask me, especially when you have continuous trap monsters. So something to think about there. Moving on, we got Mask of Restrict, just to help limit our opponent even more. Especially in case you're going against any kind of monarchs or uh, stuff like that. Next, we have our first trap monster, uh, two Metal Reflect Slime. True. Sure, many of you remember this from Merrick versus yu gi with that grotesque uh, slime hobelisk. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, so he's going to help us summon out our... Sacred Beast, not quite God card monster. So, pretty solid if you ask me. <laughs> Next, we have uh, Mirror Force in here, of course, a solid staple. Uh, Nightmare Wheel, two copies, nope, actually three copies of Nightmare Wheel. Uh, solid Continuous Trap, again, helps slow down our opponent and also burn them for, I believe, 500. Yep, 500 damage to our opponent during each of our standby. So, pretty good. Kind of has a little bit more utility than just the bird being able to keep it in this trap on the field like that for your own. Next, we're going to have pull position. So, uh, face up monsters with the highest attack on the field are unaffected by any spell cards. Pretty solid when you got someone like your eye that doesn't offer too much protection, unfortunately. And uh, when pull position is removed from the field, destroy the face up monster with the highest attack on the field. So, a little give and take there, unfortunately. But, fingers crossed, once you get your eye out, pretty much in the clear to win. Moving on, we have another beautiful staple for Edison that's uh, quite costly nowadays. Royal Oppression. So, we are running two copies of that. We're also running two copies of Skill Drain as well, too, just to help lock down our opponent a little bit more. And also keep those continuous traps on them. Next, we have our Starlight Road. And you know our opponent's going to be playing Heavy Storm trying to get rid of all of our continuous. Especially going to like a game two or three where they're definitely going to be siding into that. So you might as well try and cheese out an easy Stardust, right? Next, we have a uh, Wall of Revealing Light. Another wonderful uh, continuous trap that's very good for stalling. And then... Three copies of Zoma the Spirit, our next trap monster. And then at the end of all that, we have one Solemn Judgment. Just in case our opponent tries to get cheeky, we can get cheeky too and negate whatever their uh, plan up their sleeve. So moving on to the extra deck. Obviously, there's not going to be too much of an extra deck. But we still have one just in case. I mean, besides Stardust. Of course. So we do have our, our one Stardust in here. We're going to have our one Blackwing Armor Master, a solid staple of uh, Edison format. Of course, our Thought Ruler, Archfiend. Yeah, we just toss it a Dark End Dragon in here. Next, we're going to have our Magical Android, Goyo Guardian, Colossal Fighter, our Classic Bria. Have a Chimera Tech Fortress, just in case we're going to side in a uh, Cyber Dragon. I don't have a side deck made for this yet, but hey, down the line, you never know. Especially because a lot of the uh, side decks tend to cycle between each other. Side pretty primarily the same way. Uh, Blackwing Armed Wing, two copies of that. A uh, Blackwing Silverwind, the Ascendant. One Black Rose Dragon. Ally of Justice Cataster, and of course, the Red Dragon Archfiend. So there you have it, our pretty casual Uriah Edison format deck. Uh, let me know what you guys would do differently. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can play uh, a monster that gets brought out by tripping off your continuous traps. I mean, different engines, different uh, play styles, so. You guys let me know down below what you guys are thinking. Be sure to check out those links 
rpkgaming.com. Check out the TCG player link down below as well, too, if you want to buy any Edison, GOAT, modern format, whatever you want. <laughs> Be sure to uh, click that link. Support the channel more than you could possibly imagine. We will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye! And good night.